When did I first hear about the Fountain Theater? Uh, uh, well, when I when I moved to Los Angeles, 2018, my uh, my theater agent uh, is actually uh, Stephen Sachs, the artistic director at the Fountain. We we share an agent, and so when I moved here, my my agent said, "Oh, you should meet Stephen." And I mean, as soon as I moved here, I started hearing about the Fountain everywhere because you know they're so um, they've they've been doing such incredible work for 30 years now. Um, and, uh, and then I met Steven uh, maybe, maybe a year after I moved. And, uh, and when I first met him at the theater, um, I mean, one of the first things I noticed when I walked into the theater were, you know, all the photos of, of their past productions and, you know, how truly, you know, I saw um, Terrell McCraney, I saw, you know, um, just the variety of work that they've done. Um, I mean, it just, and, uh, and then Stephen started to tell me about um, their mission and what's important to them. And I think the first thing that struck me was when he told me about uh, Walking the Beat, um, which is one of their arts education programs. Um, uh, that uh, was brought to them by Theo Perkins, who's actually an actor and detained. Um, and I just thought, wow, this is so remarkable that a theater is, is doing something like this. And um, and then, uh, I don't know, maybe six months later, um, Stephen approached me about um, coming on to do community engagement uh, for the company. And I did that for, I mean, I started that position in January of 2020. <laughs> then, so the pandemic happened two months later, but I, you know, I spent about a year as their community engagement coordinator and really got to, to know the company and, um, just how committed they are, um, to, um, producing work, um, around social justice and um, producing work that, that's really inclusive. And um, I developed a new arts education program during my time as community engagement coordinator. And um, I was, you know, just grateful at how supportive they were. You know, I, I pitched this idea and you know, they were like, yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's try it. <laughs> and before I knew it, we were launching, we got funding and um, they're just committed to really doing um, really great work and to um, evolving. Uh, why should other playwrights, actors, directors get involved with the Fountain Theater? Well, besides, besides the fact that they're really committed to, to putting out quality work, you know, you're, you're, you're gonna have a, a, a good experience as an artist. Um, I think it, it's also a small company. Um, you know, it's a it's a small group of people who run it, um, and it it is like I mean, it's so cliche, but it is like a family. And I have noticed just in my time there that people, artists work with them again and again and again, and really do become like family. I mean, I, I just, I, you know, I witnessed it, you know, every time there was a new production, every time there was anything like they, their artists come back and their artists seem to stay connected. And so um, I think as an, as an artist, whether you're a player, right, a director, an actor, once you work with the fountain, you will you will have an artistic home. You will have a place to call home as an artist. Why is the fountain theater so important? I mean, I, I guess I can you know just reiterate what I what I've said about their commitment to um, doing work that um, promotes social change. Um, that. Uh, offers a, a platform um, to underrepresented uh, communities. Um, and uh, and they're, they're committed to their outreach. I think when they brought me in, it was because they wanted to do more. They wanted to um, 
strengthen their relationships and, and build more relationships with the community. And, um, you know, they wanted to, developing this new arts education program came out of their desire to um, provide arts education to more students. Um, so the work, you know, the work that they do is, is important and it's, they are really contributing something valuable to Los Angeles and, and it's a small company and like most theaters in the country, um, took a hit during the pandemic. Um, it's a small theater that, um, because of COVID now, uh, cannot um, um, have maximum capacity. And so, you know, that impacts uh, the company financially and, and in many other ways. And so um, I think now, now more than ever, like, like all theaters in the country, you know, in the world now really need support to continue doing the work that they're committed to doing. I'm Frances Benson. I am a playwright and, and uh, I look forward to seeing you at the theater.